Hello, you have already seen the first two parts about leaf cutters. I reanimated the fungus in them and it seemed brought the colony to stability by planting the entire donor layer of Verte Mexicana. And today I want to tell you what happened next. Greetings to all and lovers on my channel and on the final part of our trilogy about leaf cutter ants at the Mexicana. Today I will tell you where they came from, how are they doing at the moment and a little deeper into the life of these ants. I don't want to delay you anymore. This is an ant star project, enjoy watching. As a final note of my colony's growth history, I will show pictures taken shortly after the last fungus replanting. I always remove the bottom of bottle, the fungus is already stable enough to live without it. And here we have an incredible sight. At each side of the mycelium, ants are busy processing and growing it. And now, let me show you how the ants feel now. A lot of time passed, a lot has changed, and to begin with I want to show you how I take care of my colony now. For example, an unpleasant puddle of condensate and fungus waste has accumulated in this area of fungus. I think it's better to remove it. For one, wipe plastic from garbage. There are a lot of ants now, and you need to act quickly so that they don't crawl out. I carefully remove this orange water with a syringe. In addition, I wipe the lid, and watching the ants immediately became more convenient. The fungus has become quite large and filled the whole container. The ants have long outgrown their nest, but I have not yet connected a new one due to my possible move. All the same, leaf cutters quite strongly tie you to the house, you need to be ready for this. The queen is almost all the time hidden from my eyes by its living anthill, but occasionally I'm lucky to observe it on the surface. Ants have a lot of brood, and by the way they feel great. They filled everything that is possible with the fungus, now they live without changes. In general, the fungus is a very interesting organism, which is even difficult to imagine if you've never seen it. It is in a constant life cycle. The old layers that are located below every second slowly die off and are taken by ants to the trash and at the top the ants grow new young layers. Because of this, if you look at the growth of the fungus in a highly accelerated shooting, it may seem that it's moving. In fact, that's the way it is. Ants specially lay out the substrate from the leaves in such a way that when they are overgrown with mycelium, something like an ant hill is formed. It turns out that ants with the fungus are in constant symbiosis. The fungus gives them shelter and food, and they help him grow. By the way, yes, if anyone didn't know, ants feed on special secretions of the fungus, and nothing else. Now it's time to clean up the outworld, there was a lot of rubbish on it. Sometimes leaf catchers don't cut all the leaves, given that they have nowhere to grow and it simply dries in the outworld. In the meantime, I want to ask you to subscribe to all my social networks, the links to which are in the description. Instagram, Discord, my resources where you can follow my news and communicate. All links in the description. And I still clean the outworld from the garbage which the leaf cutters nearly fought in the corner. In the meantime, I prepared the outworld for a new feeding. Now we need to prepare the leaves. 
I use blackberry, because there are a lot of it in my forest and it grows even in winter. So I didn't have any problems with leaves. Just in case, it's worth raising the leaves in water, so as not to bring some kind of trouble with them from the forest. Now just lay the leaves in the outworld. I try to direct them upwards in order to somehow mimic the natural conditions for the ants. Plus it makes the outworld look livelier, and it resembles the tropical forest of South America. A little time passed, and a small group of scouts stumble upon a resource that I gave them. It needs to be studied carefully, and determine if these leaves are suitable for the fungus. Finally cut it up and take it home. Plus or minus large soldiers have already appeared in my colony, at least compared to those that were in the beginning. Let me remind you that in a large Ata Mexicana colony soldiers can reach 2 cm in length. For these beautiful ends I want to express my deep gratitude to my friend Daniel. People asked me many times when I would buy leaf cutters again, and I answered that I wouldn't buy, and I've been honest. I didn't pay for these ants. Daniel spent a lot of nerves to get these ants to me by arranging delivery from Poland. And now I am the happy owner of an incredible colony of leaf cutter ants. Daniel, thank you very much. This is a very valuable gift that I promise to keep with me and on this channel. I don't know how to describe the emotions you get when an ant right in front of you slowly cut off a piece of a leaf, chewing it with its mandibles. An incredible and very harmonious spectacle, which without exaggeration can be watched for hours. Houses, the outroll to these ants can be made into a real jungle. In general, leaf catchers are somehow more reminiscent of nature, probably because of the vegetation that they have to give. Such ants always remind you that somewhere there are incredibly beautiful wild tropical forests. Peace reigns in the ant hill, and there is a greater variety of activities than the ants were used to. Someone is processing the leaves, which will soon be used to grow the fungus. The queen meanwhile is worried and hurries to hide from us in the thickness of the fungus. Like I said, it doesn't come across very often, so I always try to photograph it whenever possible. The fungus looks very unusual. Ants run around its different levels, and if you fantasize a little, you can imagine that this is some kind of ant planet. The leaf catcher's queen is definitely the coolest ant I've ever seen. Not only does it look like it's real from another planet, but it also lays just enormous numbers of eggs that will soon become new ants. These smallest workers are called minima. It's them that you now see, and it's they who are watching the fungus. The end hill is constantly teeming with life. Night, morning, afternoon, evening, the ants don't stop. And I really appreciate the opportunity to watch this life and live next door to them. I really hope you enjoyed today's adventure. I went to these ants for a very long time, and finally the line of leafcutter ants was our come. 
Thanks for watching this video. I hope Atta Mexicana will appear in my videos more than once, but for now I have many more different stories for you. I also want to remind you about my Discord server, in which I am waiting for all of you. This is an Enstra project. See you!